at the Naruto video. I said I was going to do a Bleach video today, but seeing as how bad that Bleach video or the Naruto video was, I have to redeem myself today. Um, basically, I really wanted to get Senju Maru, but I can't. Because my evolutions are the reason why I have turn 1 on Hikifune. So, replacing Hiki kind of means I'm fucked because Namaya can't really reach the same speed as these supports with 5.0 growth rates. And I can't get Senju Maru and give her the ninth Evo as soon as possible anyway. It's going to take at least a month. So, I'm going to just not get Senju Maru. Um, same for Namaya. I really can't replace him because just got his Evo level 9, got him the Fury book. And I got him 4th mod, so, I mean, even if I inherit, I'm still losing out 20% of the fragments in total. And that 6th mod is just it's just really amazing, so I need to get it eventually. I would have went 3-1-1, but I really like my Berserk range, I don't want to, I don't want to fucking murder him. Plus, his 5th mod is kind of like the anti-support meta. As well as getting rid of Ichibe is a problem, because I need him for Hollow Souls. So... Until I clear Hollow Souls, then I'm gonna have to stick with a Vanguard. But if I did get, if I could beat Aizen, then I would probably be able to just ditch Ichibe and just run three supports. I don't have an equipment set either because don't know what the fuck happened, but I don't have a Cyclone rune. Um, I have three, yeah, I have three Cyclone sets and only one rune. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I kept the Quincy Blade for some reason. So I don't know what the hell happened. I really don't know. Um, I just don't know. I still have the spirit blades, but the runes are gone. So, it seems like I did sell them for some weird reason. Uh, I just don't know what the fuck happened, to be honest. But, until I beat Aizen, I have to stick with a Vanguard. Um, and it's just, I don't even consider Ichibe a Vanguard anyway. He's just a useless piece of shit. I really don't like him. I mean, I keep getting into arguments about Ichibe. All I have to say is if you don't have an Ichibe, then you have no right to talk about him. That's all I can say. Because you don't you don't, you don't really understand what the fuck he is. It's just it's just painful. I keep getting into ar arguments about Ichibe. Like he is regarded as shit for many reasons, okay? Vanguard's he is not naturally tanky, okay? His fucking passive gives him strength and intelligence while giving him massive stamina. I don't know what fucking intelligence the game is giving him because this motherfucker is retarded. And then his strength, okay, whatever. Even with, like, level 9 strengths, he has very shit physical defense. Even Ry Ryatsu doesn't help out that much. Now, his HP is the only thing that's good about him. His first mod is HP. Second mod is immune to stun. Third mod starts getting good, fourth and fifth, like, okay, until he gets his fifth mod, then he starts becoming good. Or even the sixth mod, when he dies, he gives your whole team 100% attack. But that wouldn't stack with Hikifune anyway, so whatever. And then his skill, I'm gonna have to fucking go off the game for this one, I think. So attack all enemies, 140% growth rate. Why did it cut off? Why the fuck does it keep cutting off? Okay, whatever. He heals them for 20% of his total damage, increased all assaulters and supports defense by 20%. So he is good when he skills. But think about it this way. You're in the fucking support meta. If you don't go first, the enemies, uh, Sanjumaru or whatever support goes first, they will probably kill your entire team and just leave you with your vanguard. And I'm pretty sure your vanguard won't survive till then. So vanguards are pretty much fucking useless unless you're using a Nozorashi and Ichibe. Not Ichibe. Fuck him. If you're using a Nozorashi and TSI and they're stacked to shit and they win the game for you, congratulations, you fucking made it. But if it's anyone else, like an Ichibe, it's useless. Kukaku is good because at least she has a second modify that gives your whole team keto defense for her just being there. So there's no reason to fucking have Ichibes anymore. I mean, Kukaku is only 4k gold more expensive than him. So you're just better off saving for that. Otherwise, it's just not a good day. I just don't like Ichibe. I've been doing these fucking, uh, these stupid ass instances, and I'm been getting shit. I've been getting shit. Like the first time, I got more than one fucking glove fragment. 
And you still need a shit ton. So I'm going to get Renji as 9th Evo. Just leave him there. Um, just basically have to focus on getting everybody turn 1. I don't know. I just... I'm just I'm just lost when it comes to, to Bleach. Because there's nothing to top up for. There really isn't. Um, topping up for stones. It's way too much gold to be doing that. Topping up for Hogus. That's probably one thing I should do. Because... I only have two Hogus that are actually good and that I leveled. The other ones are just pretty bad. So that's probably the only thing I can imagine doing. Um, I really need to go for these uh, these 150 Comrade contracts because I really want to get that Ryu Manukaku. Once I get him, it's going to be some more steps closer to getting Shinso again. But we're not going to fucking get that because... Refreshing a hundred fucking times just to get to that. Wow. Yep, it's just pointless. There's some days where you can actually get pretty lucky and just spend some coupons, but... That resulted in a fuck you to me. I would have spent way too many coupons. Um, but I was saying, all I really need is tier 12 Hogus. I don't need any more partners. It would be nice to have a good attack all assaulter because it's the only thing I don't like about Berserk Renji that he only hits two targets, but he is probably the best assaulter that you can get until you go for a handsome Tashiro if his freeze still works in PvE or you watch because his fucking damage is insane. But definitely Berserk Renji for being a SS rank partner. It's a fucking he's a brick shitter, like this motherfucker destroys you. His freaking buff is just too overpowered. Especially with Cotton turn 1. That's why I can't even imagine if you had a turn 1 with Cotton and this motherfucker hits. Shit, the amount of damage that would go off. But I have nothing to top up for in Brazil. Just basically continue my Zompacto collection or just do random stuff. Get accessories, get equipment sets. But on US, there is a lot of things that I need. And I just, I just really don't know because... I dodged the first merge. I don't know how long it will take for a second one. I hope I have like a good amount of time before I get merged because as long as I merge up, I'm fine. If I get merged down, that's the only reason why I don't want to top up because if I'm going to eventually get merged down, I'm fucked anyway. It's going to be like, like you'll be getting no silver, no nothing on that server. It's just fuck that shit. So I really don't want to top up and then on the long run you just realize you, fuck, you got fucked over. Um, I really don't want to start any more new accounts. I want to do a One Piece game and a fairy tale game, but there's only one fairy tale game, and I keep hearing w terrible things. And then there's a bunch of One Piece games, but I think all the One Piece games are pretty shit. Um, I don't, I actually don't mind the current one, like that Go Games has, but it's just way too slow for me. I don't, I don't like slow games, so I'm not really liking it. Actually, I should have given that shit to my main. Finally, you get something. But, yeah, the One Piece games are way too slow. That's why I just really don't like them. I played One Piece. I don't even know which One Piece game it was, but this was definitely the worst one. It is like some 3D one where you actually, when you're doing the Vitality stage, you go from one, one part to the other part, and you have to actually fight. So you're basically like killing waves of enemies until you get to the end and you fight the boss. That thing, that One Piece game was atrocious. It's definitely the worst one I played so far. It is terrible. It's fucking terrible. And then the way you get partners is you can either do like free uh, rolls every few days, or you spend gold and you basically have to get three of the same partner in like a ro like a lucky slot kind of thing, like a slot machine. You basically get three of the same partner and you can keep them. So that's why I think that fucking One Piece game is definitely the worst one. Um, the Ultimate War on the Go Games is way too slow. Probably way better if you just start off as a VIP. Obviously, that's probably way better, but... I don't know. I don't know any other ones. Anime Pirates is probably the best. Pocky Pirates was the best, but then that shit got closed. So, there's a, there's a big fucking limit to which games you can play for One Piece and enjoy, actually. But, I don't know. It's very, it's very select. At least when it comes to Bleach and Naruto, you know you're gonna be playing a good game. <laughs> When you play One Piece, you're like, oh shit. It's it's very, very hard to pick a good one. 
uh, I don't know. I I've just been not doing uh, alliance campaigns. I have been leveling a second character just so I could do alliance war, but I just forget about him and he's not even close to 40 yet. So there's just been a lot of issues. But yeah, the only reason I don't feel like spending money on US is because uh, I already know what's going to happen in the future. So that's the only reason why I'm not trying to spend too much now and end up regretting it towards the end when I get merged. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit that I wish I did differently on this account. Way too many things I wish I did differently. <clears throat> but... Hogu's wise, so Ichibei has a tier 11 stamina I don't upgrade, and a tier 9 force or uh, strength, and then Hikifune has the tier 11 uh, agility maxed out with a tier 10 full standing crest, but the problem with this is that it's a tier 10, so I wouldn't really put talismans into it, and I'm still waiting when her Hogu, Hogu discount, or whatever the event is called, where you can upgrade Hogu's, I'm waiting for the day where you can upgrade a tier 11 into a tier 12. Same for Namayo. He has a Hollow God Crest. Uh, tier 11 Wisdom. Trying to get a max, but we're still like 60 off. And he has a tier, t uh, tier 10 full standing cr uh, wing step. So they're pretty decent Hogus. But then, I mean, Berserk Grangy has a level 3 full standing strength. So the Hogus are decent, but they're just not leveled. And I really can't get talismans without spending gold for it. Another thing is, I would eventually want to get tier 12s. But gold partners can't use tier 12s. So that's the biggest downside. That really is the biggest downside. Uh, so yeah, my, my plans are just, I don't know. I had, I had plans for all my accounts when I first started. But when I reached a certain mark, I would say... A certain part, it's just the plan fell apart, or the plan ended, everything was done that I already thought of. Now it's to the point where I just don't have a plan, and you just basically do when it comes to you. Um, as far as spending money, all I really need to get is more Fury Stones, and probably Hogu Enhances. Definitely need to get more equipment sets. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm really unsure of what to do because there's just there's just nothing that I can think of without ah, yeah it's pretty much uh, it's hard to say like the words aren't coming to my mind right now fucking having a long day so far so I'm kinda baked but just basically take it slow is what I'm trying to say Take it slow, see what happens. Um, I need to get this 120 set infused ASAP. And then basically give it to Hikifune. And try to give Namaya her set. And then just see if I could beat Aizen. If I'm lucky enough, with high enough hit, maybe I can beat Aizen. I don't know I don't know how much damage I could do with in the first round with Namaya on Aizen. Especially if the 300% reincarnation effect hit. That's what I need to find out. If I can hit... If I can manage to do a 300% and one-hit him, which I really don't think is possible, at least for me, I would probably be able to hit like 2 mil on him. So it would be really close, but... I don't survive past the first hit anyway, so it's... It sucks, but... It is what it is. Uh, Soul Palace... I need to fucking start investing in these Yorichi secret flavors i never even seen how they work, and it's not even like popping up right now. But it's just you spend gold and you get more of these kind of uh, infused materials. And I've just been been trying to get this shit maxed out. This set takes too damn long. Not sure if I would ever get 140 sets in the future. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe I'll get one uh, 140 set. I think today is the yeah today is the last day of CSB. We don't merge anymore. Or we are basically either going to get merged to the next CSB or we're lucky enough to stay here. So I hope we stay here. If I was to get turn 1 on Namaya, I will be able to beat Noob every time. I mean, I only beat him when it comes to extra rounds. That's why the first time I lost, I didn't get extra rounds. Second time I did, so I beat him. So 
Manamaya definitely does a shit ton of damage. That's the only reason why I didn't want to replace Senjumaru with him, because I invested too much into Namaya to be my fucking cleanup man. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's been a few days after the merge, and I am pretty sure that Casper and Newer quit. Because out of the top 10, I don't see them in Arena. That's the whole reason why I said they quit. Like, the, the merge literally did not affect me. It did not affect me. Because the rank 3 and 4 BP-wise aren't even in the arena. So that's why I was saying they quit on the first day. Because now it's probably like a few days after the merge. Three days. And they're still not in the arena. So I don't know what is happening. But that's pretty much the reason why I said they quit. I went to sleep extremely early yesterday just so I can wake up for today and help my dad around the house. Um... Huacamundo, I had to rush this shit out last minute. Still so f such a long road to get Nozarashi, I swear. I will definitely use Nozarashi over Ichibe. Um, at least for PvE, because he does way more damage. But I don't know. My I neglected my partners to shit. To the point where only my supports matter to me. Like, even Hikifune, I haven't been working on her that much. She's just been naturally getting her speed up from levels or... Whatever it's been doing. And Namaya, I've been just giving him all the damage. Getting close to that 400k strategy attack. Uh, the 120 set definitely helps a lot. Berserk Renji, I have literally have not done anything to this motherfucker. Just gave him some exclusives. And then Balsack. He's just there. I can't stand that Ichibe. Like, it really gets me annoyed. I'm gonna get Renji his 15th exclusive and then just keep stacking Hiki, I guess. Because I don't know, I, I hope to, in maybe like two years, I get her exclusive skill. If I don't manage to replace her by then, because not hitting the fucking Vanguard pisses me off about her. I really can't stand that shit. She needs to hit everyone. She needs to. That There are so many fights that, at least against like Vanguards, that if she could hit them, she makes the fight way easier. But she just does not make it easier. Um, so they got all them CSB stones just sitting there. Let's see. Let's see what if, I, if I can keep infusing the 120 set. Uh, let's see. Let's see. But yeah, I'm going to have a ton of work ahead of me. So I plan to basically work on all the videos that I'm going to get out during a week of my vacation. So it's 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 crazy because I just talked about it like three days ago. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be going to Florida in two weeks, and three days later, they fucking I blinked and they just went by. So it's, it's stressful right now. I have to get these videos done this week and just schedule them out. So as far as I know, I have tutorials planned, character overviews, and maybe one or two special video um, that I haven't really done my channel yet. So. That's what I have planned to do, at least for those two weeks. I'm really not sure. It's tough. I have to also de decide who I want to character overview. Um, I still have Tessai. Even though he's garbage. And then I have TSI that I promised so long ago. <laughs> so yeah, the TSI overview will finally come up. When I uh, basically leave for Florida. Oh, I'm just not ready. I hate flying. I hate that shit. Oh, everything hurts today. I swear. It's like you go to sleep early and you still wake up in pain. But... I don't know what the fuck is with me today. Um, We have seven minutes until Evil Spirit. So I will have to end this shortly. I'm still waiting for them to add one click to freaking Hakamundo. That thing is frustrating as hell. Yeah, I, I need to have like a mouse recorder or something that actually just does Hakamundo for me because when I tried it with the bot, you know, you guys know what happened. It <laughs> wasted all the prestige I saved up. But uh, thankfully it got fixed. But man. <laughs> I'm really not trying to use that bot again until they they fix everything. 
Um, same for my Brazil account. I just don't know what I'm doing with the Prestige. If I stack it or I use it, I mean, pretty much just stack it. There's really no reason to spend it. There's really no reason. <clears throat> uh, no, let's see what else is there. There's uh, like no rumors I heard about. Oh yeah, today's also gonna be a special video for tomorrow. Um, so today's the fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. I forgot to say that. I mean, I had three, I had two videos already out. <clears throat> Took the third one to actually say it. <clears throat> I completely forgot about that. And another thing is, today's void region. And the interruptions never stop. But yeah, Fourth of July is also fuck you from Go Games Day because they are making us do void region, and it's gonna be fucking excruciatingly painful it's gonna be painful so let's see who i have to struggle against today so if i have a thing that's very i don't know if that's shin yokura that's a regular yokura um demon ichigo shin tashiro hitsugaya and kyoko sugetsu aizen today i get the same old bullshit i have motherfuckers that are always getting exclusive fragments from void region here i am getting reincarnation stones and soul refines again while the first, the, the last one I did with you watch, I was getting fucking Soul of Conquest. I can't ever get fucking exclusive fragments. Fucking lucky ass scumbags always getting that shit. Oh man. And who the fuck are we fighting? The fuck? We're fighting 7 Day Ichigo? Huh? What the fuck? Chad? What, 732k strategy attack? What the fuck? Uh, Ichigo? With one mil attack? Quincy Uryu? Fucking Nanano? What the hell is this shit? Are they trolling? These fucking stats are scary, but... I mean, I don't know what's gonna be happening for this shit. For the Zero Division, they had way too much block, and you couldn't counter. For Yawash, he had way too much dodge, and he was just, like, dicking on everybody, so... Shit, I already know what's gonna happen with this one. You're already gonna get the same thing. Second day of lucky slot, will I get lucky? Oh, we got lucky for once. Second one? Oh shit! I have like never gotten two con heads back to back. Never. Never, ever, ever. Shit, I wonder who was the guy who got three fucking con heads back to back. Golden enchant stone, level 7 box though, that would be pretty nice. Don't think I've ever seen that. Uh. Let's see, what else can I can I do real quick? Shit, I got three minutes. So we're gonna have to end this soon. Evil spirits get fucking nuked anyway, so I have to, it requires maximum concentration. Like, they literally don't last. I think after three days, they are level 80 now. It's like, come on, level up a little bit faster. The Brazil ones are, are 142 right now. They're level 142, so... Once I get to fucking, I don't even know, that shit's gonna get to 150. And my US account never went past like 115. I wish I was doing the same damage as I was over there. And I'm never gonna be able to save Grim unless I freaking reincarnate my main. I mean, I mean, I have 18 levels on the guy. Like, fuck, I need to slave people. I need to slave. I wanted to second reincarnate somebody. But there's just no need. I have some resets as well. I could do 9 resets, but do I really care which effect the main has? No. So I'm just holding that. Um, gotta love them one click beauty games. Them one taps. Them one taps. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll probably just do Evil Spirit real quick on the video. Because, you know, fucking. Yesterday, Grim was so lucky. Uh, I was doing like 90 mil, 100 mil a hit. And I literally left the evil spirits with 10 mil HP, so he got all the kills on all of them. And then he was like fucking bragging in the chat about that shit. I'm like, stop it, stop it. Don't brag about getting evil spirit kills, okay? Like, just calm your tits. I was really, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was really hoping that he would get merged and fucking cry because he got knocked down from his rank 2 and uh. on the server. But a trick is so when you go to daily activities, right? You want to always back out. So you join it, you back out, you rejoin it. It basically resets the clock because I think it's about three. You're going to be three seconds behind the first time you join. So that's why when I joined and left, it went from 51 down to 47. 
So it's basically always three seconds behind. The second time you join back the battle, you're actually on par with the system. So that's a quick way for you to actually get that first Ryoka kill before it starts or um, like the first hit of the evil spirit, you know what I'm saying. It's just going to give you that, that few second advantage, especially for Ryoka, it all matters in your total damage. But this fucking evil spirit is going to get nuked, alright, uh, is Grimboy here. Yeah, he is, okay. So fuck him. Fuck him, I swear, if he gets a kill, it's this shit went up from 80 to 80. 81. How the fuck does he still get the kill before me? I was ready for this. And then the fucking loading is slower than One Piece Ultimate War. Come on! Come on! Why is it fucking... Oh my god. This shit is taking so damn long. Why the fuck did it take so long? Yeah, I should probably tell you that. Like, you should probably do like an arena battle before. Like, it's not, I'm not even gonna fucking kill it. I do 70 mil a hit. I don't think he does 20 mil hit, does, does he? I don't think he does. Come on. Oh, if he gets the kill. Oh, we got so lucky. Because I remember I, I was going to get the kill and then the motherfucker got it before me and I bought it and I was salty as hell. This shit takes too damn long. And who else is doing evil spirit? Like, nobody on my server does evil spirit. The merge literally did not affect me. Nobody does evil spirit. Same people do Ryoka. I think just like two more people do Ryoka now. This merge did not change anything. I am so lucky. Like, my server stayed the same. But evil spirits just don't last anything. Oh, I'm gonna get the kill. Damn! What the fuck? The first hit, I did 85 million or something. And you're telling me the second hit, I couldn't even do that? Are you fucking kidding me? What is this bullshit? Oh, my fuck. Damn, why the fuck you doing this to me, Go Games? Why the fuck are you doing this to me? Stop! But yeah, I'm gonna get the battle reports ready for Void Region. So later on, if you know, if you hit me up on Discord or hit me up on the forums, Kurodami Senpai, and uh, basically, I'll be uh, just giving. What's it called? What the fuck was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'll be putting battle reports of people getting gang raped from Void Region on it. What the fuck? He, I don't even know how much damage I did then, but whatever, that's some bullshit, like, he's always getting the kills, just because I do too much damage, and then he's lucky enough to finish it off, but I'll end the video here, so hit me up on the forums later, hit me up on the discords, basically, if you want to give me a battle report, if you get gangbanged from the void region, um, I'll keep doing, like, these kind of void region videos every once in a while, what the fuck do you want, like, I swear, if you talk shit, you're gonna get smacked right now, he always, he says my name more than Beyonce says her own name, say my name, say my name, like, stop it. Stop it. I'm tired of hearing my name. Why do you all have 200 mil HP? Like, do you not know they reset? Oh, my God. Like, boy, if you don't get it. But anyway, look forward to that Void Region video tomorrow. Um, when I figure out, basically, after all the days of the Void Region. So, we, I'm pretty sure there's like, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There might be seven different bosses or something I have to fight. So after I know all the formations and kind of understand what they do, then I could do a proper Void Region video and give you guys tips on how to actually do it. But until then, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.